Teachers in St. Lucia during the COVID-19 pandemic are undergoing a tremendous transformation. Teachers adopt computers and technologies in teaching, opening a world of possibilities to the young generation. The teaching integrates necessary online digital tools, devices and applications. The Department of Education has gone a long way in providing teachers with a series of capacity building courses such as Google Classroom, Moodle and more. ICT in Education Development Project of the Taiwan Embassy has responded to the Ministry of Education's policies by fostering online learning platform adaptation and empowering teachers with capacity building resources for making interactive animation, ebooks, and videos. COVID 19 has uh, impacted every aspect of life, including but not limited to traditional face to face education and classroom learning environment. In a time like this, it is imperative to empower teachers and students to reach their aspiration and goals by accelerating the transition to e-education and smart education. And we are glad to see substantial results of the ICT in Education project will be presented today by the teachers who have taken on the heavy responsibility of transforming St. Lucia's education, even more to the future development of promising St. Lucia's students. The best way to predict your future is to create it. Whereas a project such as ICT in Education, Smart Classroom, and GINET, Taiwan and St. Lucia, will reach the UN Sustainable Development Goals together. Education practitioners are now enabled to integrate materials and the use of technology in their daily teaching. Foreseeably, the attribution of the teacher capacity building program will not only embrace the change and innovation in teaching, but ultimately reshape the teaching strategies and methods in the education system. St. Lucia Education is transforming and adapting to a greater online education environment. Kendall Kodra is the Deputy Permanent Secretary in the Department of Education. We are indeed pleased that our schools, and in, particularly, in particular sorry, our teachers, have kept the ball rolling and continue to do amazing things throughout all of the adversities. Your Excellency, we express our profound gratitude to you and our other friends from the Republic of China, Taiwan, for providing the necessary support to drive our e-education ecosystem and make these innovations a success. Of course, the Department of Education, Innovation, and Gender Relations continues to welcome any other opportunity which aims to improve our education system and develop a more resilient people. McGavin James, a teacher at the Stanley John Odlum Secondary School, explained that the newly obtained tools and skills will go a long way in educating the nation. We have access through the internet to millions of web pages, assessments, tons of content, but we do not have any Caribbean-centric context relevant to our culture content. The only people that can do that is us. So over the last few years, I've had this movement and this thing at the back of my mind where we really need to start becoming creators of content and not consumers of content. And that is why when we started doing this, um, we did the training, etc. I was very happy because all the tools were content creation tools. The activity was used to showcase what actions teachers under the ICT in Education project are using in imparting knowledge to students virtually using several free online resources.